I volunteer to demonstrate a commitment to my beliefs. Go. I volunteer to bring people together. I volunteer to escape. I volunteer to break down fear and misunderstanding. I volunteer to be challenged. Hi, I'm Jessica Hayward. And I'm Ashley Wahavich. And we're the student coordinators for the America Reads program. America Reads is a wonderful tutoring program that allows CMU students from all majors to offer their time as not only a tutor, but a role model and as a friend. As tutors, we get to work with second and third grade students who are having a hard time with reading, and we get to do this by giving them an extra hour each week of one-on-one -on -one tutoring. first patrol that we have for the Safer Sex Patrol. We are currently signing people in and getting ready to go. Momentarily we'll be breaking up, handing them their kits, and dispersing condoms to the population of Mount Pleasant. Hi, I'm Bill. And I'm Bill, too. And we'll be handing out condoms tonight to promote safe sex. Wear condoms. Be safe. Seriously. Safe sex control! Hi, my name is Jenny Jordan, and I'm the David Garcia Project Student Coordinator. The David Garcia Project is a living memorial dedicated to David Garcia. David Garcia was a blind computer programmer at the World Trade Center, and he died in the September 11th attacks. To keep his memory living, his family set up a program for students all around the nation, and CMU was lucky enough to adopt this program. Behind me is the physical section of the David Garcia Project. In this part of the physical section, the student is transferring himself from a wheelchair into a chair without using his legs and only using the use of his arms. Hi, my name is Jake Hakenin, and working today with the David Garcia Project was a great opportunity for me because I got to see what it'd be like working with people who have disabilities, which is really important for being an athletic trainer since we work with people with disabilities uh, quite often, and it was a great experience. student coordinator. Adopt a Grandparent is a program that works to bridge the gap between the elderly community at Maplewood Assisted Living and students here on CMU's campus. Students are matched with grandparents based upon similar interests and hobbies. Once they are matched with their grandparent, they'll spend the year growing and learning from one another in meaningful and long-lasting relationships. Alternative Breaks is a service experience where 
issues and becoming connected to different communities. Last spring, I had the opportunity to work with immigration and border communities. Um, we traveled to San Diego, California, working with an organization called Casa Familiar, and we were working with the people within the community of San Ysidro, which is a part of San Diego. And while we were there, we um, worked on organizing one of the rec rooms in their community center, and we worked with a food bank, and uh, we learned a lot about the area and about the issue of immigration, and it was a wonderful experience. Um, while we were there, we also had the opportunity on our day off to travel around San Diego um, and do some things around the city, learning a little bit more about the area. Um, I would just highly encourage anyone um, to try going on an alternative break.